never had a debate in the House discussing about removal of one man because he was of a particular ter tribe and replacing him with another another tribe. Never in my, 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 my recollection. Are you going to tell me, Sir Charles, that Kikuyus didn't dominate the government that you were part of? We may have... I'm, I'm going to be quite open with you and say you may have a number of Kikuyu in a certain section and the reason for that would be qualifications. Kenyatta was very particular about qualifications. And he did not care which tribe you belong to as long as you are qualified. If the, if the requirement was a BA degree in engineering and you have that degree, whether you are Kalenjin or, or, or Kikuyu, you got the job because of the qualification that you had. That all changed under Moy. Well, it was changed. It was unfortunate, but I think I think it's not that it wasn't as glaring as as, as as it is today because one did not discuss it. Of course, the newspapers are not helping us mm. in this. I must say, mm. because the the newspaper blew it up. Something small it made very 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 big. Photographs of somebody who has been uh, interdicted or a senator has been uh, thrown out of the, the house and so on. Yeah. Big pictures and a lot of writing about it. Yeah. I wish myself, and I, I mean, I wish, we, I, sh I wish we didn't buy newspapers and the, just to teach them a lesson. <laughs> in fact, in this book, in, in, in Wisdom of the Elder, you say the media has a big responsibility in guiding the thinking of the people. Mm -hmm. You say this. The media has a great responsibility in educating our people. They should be, it is the, the media who should be telling us, look, it doesn't matter whether you are a Kikuyu, whether you are a Kalenjin, or whether you are a, uh, an Arab, as long as you got the qualification, you'll get the job. Mm. Not because you belong to a particular tribe. Yeah. And I tell you, if you can, I mean, you take people, uh, take country like uh, Bechuana land. They have sections of tribes. They got tribal uh, mm -hmm. groupings, uh, you know, groupings yep. in, the, in the country. Yep. But tribe is never taken into consideration when you employ somebody. Yeah. And this is where we had gone wrong. And I wish really the newspaper can help us. Unfortunately, uh, the members of the parliament that we have today, the quality, the mm. qualification, we're talking, talking about qualifications. People are cheating that I've got a BA when in fact you haven't got a BA. Yeah. And they're getting away with it. And they're getting away with it. There is one which has gone as far as Makerere College to testify whether that particular gen gentleman has a BA degree or whatever degree we are talking about from that university. The university uh, certify that yes, this man was qualified. Now another fellow comes, so, so as an, an affidavit, that man was never in this university and never qualified. So where are we? Absolutely. When you talk about tribalism and ethnicity, Sir Charles, is this why someone like Ryla would have a difficult time being president? because certain groups would say no would never vote for him others would say no would never vote. is this is this why he would have a difficult time ah you you have a very great difficulty i mean if you to either the central forum they will say i think mean, jalu will never be president and then they will say it and then when it comes to voting they won't vote for him they is that will vote for some is that sad very sad and our country will never for, go forward until the day comes when we vote for a person because he is qualified and he is able to hold that position. Not because he's a, a Kikuyu, a Luo or Kalanjin or whatever. Forget tribe, forget tribe. Think of yourself as member of Kenya nation. Mm. And that's what Kenyatta was uh, striving to, uh, to do. And some countries are doing it. 
Uh, you never hear cases of tribalism in Botswana. And there are many, many mm -hmm. uh, sub-tribes and tribes in, uh, in Botswana. Yeah. The president of Botswana is uh, Bangamogwato. There are many Bangamogwato, but there are other people, but you never hear, you know, criticisms that this man is not able because he belongs to Kikuyu or because he belongs to Lu and so on. So when for the former prime minister asks, seeks, insists on a national dialogue, is that fair? Should he get that order? Should, should we have that national dialogue? I think, I, I think what my, my friend Raila should do, uh, in fact, it was played up. It was blown up by the newspaper. What Raila, in fact, wanted is to have a meeting with Uhuru. Not to have a, uh, not to have a meeting of a hundred, one section and a hundred from the other side. Because... I mean, it doesn't make sense to have a meeting of 500 people with one man, with the president. He wanted a one-on-one. One-on-one, one-on-one, and then you, you get some sense. But if you want two, if you're a delegation, then of, of course you, you, you'll get people drumming up and uh, making a lot of noise, and you will not get to the bottom of the problem that we want to What solve. about those people around Raila and those people around Uhuru who are saying, no, these people are insisting on Kate Nusu, isn't Nusum that, Kate. Isn't, the, isn't that the problem that we have? People around our leaders are the ones who are misleading the leaders. I wish, I wish that leaders will make a decision on himself rather than getting other people to, to, to join you. Mm. There are many things I, I would like to remember, and, and I remember with pride when Kenyatta will make a decision and make it on his own, and he will call us and say, this is what I have decided as a head of state. But he had advisors around him, remember, and you were one of them. We were there, and, uh, he, and, uh, he, and uh, he, would, he wouldn't listen. He would just dis disregard. The time he appointed Moi, as a vice president, mm -hmm. there are many Kikuyus who are after their job. <laughs> and Muse just decided, my vice president, after Murumbi uh, resigned, is going to be uh, 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 Daniel Aramoy. And you supported him? Yes, fully. But the other clique, the other, the, the oh, kitchen cabinet? They ordered somebody else, but Muse was not going to have it. And that's, I think that's what we should have. So you think, you think the son of the father should be more firm? Is that what you're saying? Well, I, I think, uh, I, I, I wish, I wish he was. And you know, some of these things you are having discussed in public. For instance, if you take a country like in England, those matters are discussed in parliament. Not in the, not in the, not in the gallery as it were, not in the public meetings. Mm but in the house discussed by people who are elected by us to rep uh, represent us. Mm. Why then should we have meetings outside uh, when we have people who are, who are elected? Who are elected? Mm. Now you saw this young man grow up, didn't you? You, you, the, you saw the president grow up. Oh yeah, yes, yes. You know the I family do. very well. I know, I know. I'm very, and uh, I'm very, I, I was, I, I am proud that uh, I have watched them grow and uh, I was with, uh, with them there all their time and uh, they've grown. The, one of them is surprising, is this the president today. <laughs> he said surprising, why? <laughs> <laughs> no, the word perhaps surprising is not, uh, what I meant to, to say really is that lo and behold, mm -hmm. today he is the president. Man, I, I saw as a young, uh, youngster. Today, he's our president. Yeah. If his father was alive today, what would you think of the young man? I, I, I think, I think he, he'll be delighted that uh, he's got his son is a president. And I'm sure he'll give him, give him some advice on, uh, on how to, to go about, uh, you know, matters of state. Yeah. But, but like you said, he needs, he needs to crack the whip a little bit, doesn't he? He must, he must, he really, he really, he has been let down. He has been let down by some, you know, I think myself that some of the trouble that we have are the people who are now, we used to call them ministers. Now I think they are called secretaries. Mm, cabinet secretaries. Cabinet secretaries. Yeah. I think 
most of them are, are not up to it. And the president will have to decide whether he wants some people who are efficient and who are going to support him or whether he is going to to go by the uh, political or tribal consideration to have these, these people. One in particular, Cabinet Secretary for Internal Security, Joseph Olalenko, should he be in? Should he, should he well, I, I, I don't know, but I'm not his uh, great supporter. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what, what he's doing. I don't understand. People out and there. it's a very, very important portfolio. Absolutely. Very important. Sec national security. During my time we had, when we had people like Bomet mm. in charge of security. And then men used to gather information, not only locally but internationally. He was friends of Israel's, he was friend of Britain, because this problem that we are dealing with today of, uh, of security, I mean, you cannot, the, these people are all over. And uh, unless you get inf uh, information from other, uh, other countries, you won't win this, uh, this, this, this battle. Yeah. But if you cooperate with other intelligence officers, if you are able, if you are able, mm -hmm. because don't forget that those other countries, their intelligence will rush, raise up sharp. And that's what you want, you're meant to be. And we keep dropping the ball, don't we? Yeah, yeah, I know. So, I know. So I, I really believe in, I believe in cooperation myself. We, we were a colony of Britain, and I think Britain has fought a lot, and Britain continues to support us and would like to support us. And I am really sad when I see any misunderstanding between our country and, and, uh, and, and Britain. You think there's a misunderstanding? You think it's genuine? You think it's legitimate? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I would like to think that it isn't. And uh, I mean, listening to what the, the, the British High Commissioner was saying on the Queen's Day the other day, I think those people are on our side and they are our friends. And they would like to support us. Yeah. So, Charles, I want to take a break. When I come back, I want to still talk more about security. Because, look, Al-Shabaab is running rampant across this, this country. Running rampant. What should you do? If in your time, you are probably the only minister who ever resigned in the history of Kenya. Who ever resigned. Should people out there resign? They should. They should. And let's talk about... I was blamed for something I had not done. And I resigned, although it was never disclosed that I resigned, I wrote a letter to the president that in view of what is being alleged in parliament, I resigned. And you walked away? And I walked away. And never put my foot again in that house. Integrity. Are there any people like you out there? Well, I, I, I'd like to see them. Sir Charles, oh my, oh my. This is what we mean when we say we need some old, wise old counsel. Check this book out, folks. Wisdom of the Elderly by Susan Wahungu Githuku. Pictures by Bobby Powell. And talk about the pictures. Look at Sir Charles on that bench. This man. We're going to, so much to talk about. Insecurity, the judiciary, tribalism, yes. And what makes this man keep going on? He's like the Energizer Bunny. What keeps Sir Charles ticking? It is an hour with a 94-year-old sage. Do not even think of touching that remote control. Tweet us, my handle, at Quinanga Jeff, the hashtag JKL. And indeed, JKL will be back in a moment.